anyways um what's your secret ingredient that your curls love the most my secret ingredient that my curls love the most is any any product that has a lot of moisture in it because when my curls are moisturized i notice that they spring back like just like that they just they just look good they feel my hair feels good my scalp feels good everything just feels good it just feels good so anything that has like a amazing amount of um moisture in my hair will do it well um if you can merge two brands of products to if you can merge two brands of products to make your perfect product, what two would it be? Right now it would be Shea Moisture and um Everyday Coconut. Because Shea Moisture curly pudding is for defining. Like it defines my curls and it gives me moisture. Everyday coconut, sorry I keep on looking now because it's right there. Everyday coconut gives me moisture, it gives me strength. I feel like my hair is protected when I have it in my hair. I use it as a leave-in. So I always I always have when my hair is in this natural state, I always have some type of conditioner in it. I used to never keep a conditioner in it, but now I've kinda grown to um leave conditioners in my hair because I feel like they're not just naked. And what is your go to hairstyle when you're in a rush? I get the best hairstyles when I'm in the freaking rush because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like, oh no. And then I come out with like a freaking masterpiece and it's great. Because when you prepare for a style, it comes out ugly. But when you like on the crunch and you don't know what you're doing, that's when you get so many compliments. People are like, what do you do? And you're like, I don't know what I did. It was just. I was having a bad hair day and this is what happened. But I would say my plant, my most hairstyle that I go to a lot when I'm in a rush is bun. Like any vari variation of the high bun because I just love high buns and I like having fun with them. Like I do the Mickey Mouse bun, I do like a four clover bun, I do like a huge bun. Just I just do lots of updos. That's what I like, updos. And it's a good protective style for protecting your ends if you want to grow your hair. Um, if your curly hair had a name, what would it be and why? I had to freaking think about this, but the name I came up with was Chameleon. And the reason I say that is because my hair is bipolar. Like, it looks different. It's it's kind of like me. Like, it, it changes up its style every day. Like... The, sometimes the textures look the texture looks different but it's really not sometimes my hair is more shrinked up than it needs to be sometimes it's extra longer than it usually is sometimes it's extra defined sometimes it's just it, sometimes it's just stupid and won't do anything at all and sometimes it'll be perfect and I've done absolutely nothing to it so I would say chameleon because you just never know what color it's going to be. It could be sad and blue. And it changes throughout the day. It could be sad and blue that morning and then like yellow and happy the evening. So you don't know. It's very temperamental. It has it has mood swings. But I try and deal with it. But hopefully you enjoyed my curly girl tag um i'm not gonna tag well i'll tag anyone who wants to do this video but i'm pretty sure everyone in the entire universe has done this video because it's pretty old but i'm doing it anyway because i really don't care but if you want to do this video do it please because it took me what two years to do this video so do it i tag you right there right there right there right there Alright, I'll tag you and um, I'll see you later. Follow me on Instagram at T-H-E-E-F-A-I-R-Y-T-A-I-L. And you'll see me every day there, but you'll see me more often here too. Alright, bye!